Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Skyhaven. We are having a look at uh, the new beta, the, or the latest beta. This one dropped in December, so it's still pretty new. Um, ooh, we are um, we are busy doing research, so no need to worry too much about that. We have some scheduled flights coming in a little bit later today. Um, there are um, there are definitely a passenger. There's definitely a passenger plane trying to come in, but we we don't actually have anything that we can help it with at this stage because we don't have that flight check ability. We've got everything else ready to go, but that flight check ability is not with us just yet. So let's go ahead and extend our get some more ramps going. Basically, so let's add a little bit more grass grass taxiway. I'm pretty keen on well getting it all the way up to about there. I think that's going to be about right. Now, give us a few more ramps. I'm just going to do like a couple more because uh, this will mean that we'll need all kinds of additional facilities and things like that. So let's just make sure to unlink and relink. Yeah, that's that's probably the easiest way to do it. Just uh, link to all and um, unlink and link to all. And we'll do a, the very same thing over here. We'll get this guy will say unlink link unlink link and that means everything should now be all linked up ready to go now we go get out of this building uh, menu here we can start to go ahead and let's get ramp four to get you to come in there and we'll get ramp five for yourself so hopefully that does the trick let's um, speed it up to at least three times speed um, we're expecting our first scheduled flight in at about three. We probably need to do a bit more scheduled flights because we've got, we need to fill up these schedules basically. So let's go to contracts and let's just go ahead and sign all of those contracts. No available contracts. Sign the next tier to get um, to new contracts. So next tier. Oh, I think that's once we've, once we've done a few flights, I think that's where we go. Let's leave it at that for the time being. Let's try and schedule them ever so quickly. Um, this one, we'll, we'll try and get it a little bit of a gap in between. Maybe not as much. We'll do a little something like that. We'll try and manage our expectations a little bit around this. Now there's some additional flights that we're probably not going to be able to deal with. So that's like four or oh, eight a day now. So let's deal with that for the time being. Hopefully we're not going to have any penalties um, associated with some of those things not actually working. We could probably do with an extra um, vehicle over here. So let's, we have a parking slot, so let's buy an additional vehicle. Um, we need to keep a fair eye on what we've got here in terms of fueling and things like that. Okay, do we have a ramp available? Yes, for this guy, yes we do. We don't have this. Is that a service that we can offer at this stage? Airfield administration, early days, terrain stuff. Cool. Okay, well, let it go. I think if we go to um, to the research, we'll find ramp services over there. So after traffic control, we can do um, ramp services. So then we'll be able to deal with some of these flights more eloquently. Uh, we could probably do... Oh, we've got a couple over here. What is this? Work slots. Why do we have multiple work slots though? Open cargo management, parking slots. Oh, so it can get you. Most of the vehicles can be used at the same time. Let's um, upgrade, get another parking slot, and we'll grab another vehicle. I think we've got a fair bit of money, so we can uh, go ahead and uh, start dealing with that. Can we speed things along a little bit just so that we uh, get our cargo? sorted fairly quickly at some stage we'll probably start dealing more building more buildings and facilities over here go ahead come on in we'll deal with a number of on-demand flights at about three we're going to start seeing our first schedule flight coming in is this one no it's not the one okay we should see a scheduled flight coming oh 315 i think is where it was Let's get the next one to come in over there at number, ramp number five. Here we go. This is a scheduled flight, I believe. There we go. Now, what is this saying to me? What does that P stand for? Is it passengers? It's not passenger flight, is it? Parking service. It's performing a parking service. 
Not sure what that is versus the others. So maybe it's just because it's got that slot. Now, I am quite interested to see if we can sort it out within that time frame to see whether our schedule is a little bit, um, is, is all good or whether we've got problems with our schedules. Let's keep scheduling flights. I'm not being too, I'm not being too micromanagey with that. Have you managed to deal with your, ah, so that's its time frame, right? And we're going to unload that. Perfect. So now let's see. So it's done all of its services, but it's still got a bit of a parking slot going on. So we can at this point actually service them pretty quickly, to be honest. Let's continue to get some on-demand flights to come on in. Is that one fully serviced? Not quite yet. Interesting. Loading. So it's just going to wait fully wait until okay so to be honest if we can go into our schedule can we start moving these a little excellent that is beautiful that is beautiful so i'm quite comfortable to um do that so that we could ooh let's leave that at b and we'll slot that one in. We should slot this one there. Awesome. And that one in there. I think that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and confirm that. I think that is awesome. So now that, so that just means I just wanted to check that we can, in fact, keep, um, keep pace with these, uh, with the schedule. I was worried um, that, uh, that we can't actually provide the service in time. And that's something that we'll probably need to uh, keep an eye on. As we go okay now let's uh, see about landing a few more flights we could probably do a few more ramps things like that that one's gonna leave now not sure we're gonna get anything new today oh it's the end of the day to be honest so I'm not sure we are going to get anything else oh we can probably squeeze in one more a few on-demand slots is not the end of the world and to be honest, oh, ramp three, I think I should go ramp three. We can move over to scheduled as well at some point, I think. Well, we'll see. We'll see if scheduled flights is what it is. Oh, air traffic control is all good. Flight scheduling, air traffic control. Hmm. Let's dismiss both of them. Well, let's dismiss that. Okay, so now let's go over to the research lab and see. I definitely want to do ramp service so we can... Uh, so we can start getting some passenger flights coming in with the ramp service. We'll go ahead and deal with that. Um, in general, we can now build an air traffic control building. And this is saying wooden air tower for air and land traffic um, dispatching. Morning, um, max operations one, max landed 10. Day is 1 and 10, uh, evening is 1 and 10, the cost is 1,000, and the upkeep is $8. So now we've got this going. Now the question is, I think, see, I don't necessarily want to do it here because we could ultimately um, get a few more ramps in this location. So I'd rather just go ahead and put it in right over there. Wooden ATC right over there. That's pretty good. So let's go nuts and speed things up. Oh, we can we can certainly land one more. So the on-demand ones we can operate pretty quickly. Uh, we are have less than ten percent, but we're getting a fair bit of fuel tomorrow. I think. How much are we getting? We're out of cargo. Ooh, hoo, hoo. We need to get a cargo contract going. Um, can we expand our Capacity. Not really. We'll have to see about a bit of an upgrade for that, but we definitely need to manage some additional cargo. Let's get our supply management going. Can we just close this new contract? Um, instant arrival of like 40. Or shall we just do 50 from Orville um, each morning at... You, need, you can adjust delivery times. If you schedule it less than three hours from now, it will be executed the next day. So at six to nine. Oh. 
So here we should be able to get it just about in time. So let's sign that one. We'll get it to come in at nine. Will it come in at nine? I'm hoping. So we're probably gonna run out of this, but I don't think there's gonna be many more flights available. Not enough cargo in storage, next delivery is miss. Um, let's not actually get another one in uh, because we won't have enough cargo in storage to deal with that just yet. So we've run out of cargo and that's something we'll need to manage a little bit more carefully going forward. Another one has got a bit of a problem there waiting for cargo. That's the end of the day. So we can operate flights till about seven. So we've got two flights stuck here at the moment, which is a bit of a challenge for us. They're leaving without their cargo. So we'll get the penalties for those, unfortunately. Daytime at work hours have ended. During the night, you will be unable to accept any more flights and will have to wait until the morning, 7 a.m. for flights to continue arriving. Use this time to focus on improving other aspects of your airport. Dismiss. Here we go. So there we go. Uh, new contracts were unlocked for travel companies, aircraft transport travel. Thank you. So let's go and have a look at that. So what does this mean? Workflow use, things like that. Let's just see in our schedule. Can we, we can probably slot in two more. So we may as well. What does this mean? Break the contract. I thought we had no available contracts. I thought this one had, had some new general agreements that we could deal with. Oh, signed flights. Yeah, available flights, signed flights, next year contracts. There are no, not any flight requests from an airline, signed contracts, new airlines. So we can do this basically, but we don't have a lot of these services available just yet. So there's no point in doing that. I don't know when we can actually sign another one or if we can, but for the time being, that's just where it's going to be at. Okay, dismiss that, please. Thank you. Please and thank you. Um... We've got some cargo arriving. I believe that's about 50 coming in. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Oh, is this guy actually waiting for the cargo? No way. So it's going to head out at night? Ooh, interesting. That is a really interesting... Uh, Thing there okay let's have a quick look what does our fuel contracts look like at 8 a.m we will be getting a thousand liters and I, to be honest i don't think that is going to be sufficient so let's see um can we do ah so what does 2000 look like over here 1200 um so 2000 at fjord is not bad Actually, some of these are, wow, European Petroleum is really quick and easy. Uh, and we should be able to deal with that. So let's do about midday arrival of 1, uh, 5,000 liters. And I think that's going to be okay. So that should be okay. Is that as per schedule? Is that the step down based on the schedule? Or is that what happened today? Oh, but that's obviously anticipated. That is interesting. So we'll see what uh, what we'll do at this point. Oh, total workflow points using workflow points, research points. Ooh, interesting. That is really interesting. Dismiss. Dismiss and see what the... Let's uh, fast forward to the next flight. Okay, so what happened today? We made a ton of money. Mission rewards is the bulk of it. So hopefully we can continue to be um, profitable during our next day. Certainly be, be good if that is the case. I do like the fast forward sound. So we're getting the morning has arrived. So we should start seeing um, some stuff happening. Uh, let's just speed things up. I would like it. Okay, there we go. Flights are popping in. Can we? There we go. Let's just get all of these flights to come on in.
So this is not available to us yet. We are still busy working on it. Uh, are we? Yeah, we're still busy working on it. Let's just pop it in here and see. Yeah, this is still underway. So um, reach points, can we? Ah, oh, we get additional workflow from, from these salaried staff as well. Let's get it up to about seven and see how that goes. Um, not sure that we're going to, you know, whether we're going to need any, any more assistance with that. So I think we probably need to schedule. Let's go back into schedule management. It goes to the slow speed all the time. Let's go back into this. Um, supply management, new contract. So see about there we need. Ooh, hang on. That's the rate at which we are dropping. So at around, let's say around one is when we need another 50 delivered. Yeah, let's do that. New contract, another 50 delivered at, oh, at noon. Well, let's do it at noon. If we do need to build an extra facility, let's do that. Let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, actually, you can do well. We can't do express. So let's do that. An extra fifty at noon, and that should actually get us through the day. Yeah, that should get us through the day. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that gets us through the day. Still need to finish off all of these guys. All of these on-demand facilities. Some fuel coming in now. I think it's just about a thousand liters coming in. Here it comes. Let's get another plane to come on in. I do wonder what the turnaround on some of these are. Do we do it pretty quickly? I'm thinking about another cargo facility, to be honest. But I just want to be mindful. Keeps going to a pretty slow speed. Uh, keep accepting flights. At some point, I'm wondering whether you can do auto accept, but uh, let's uh, let's not do that for the time being. I do think we're doing a pretty decent job. Lights are arriving and departing. Scheduled flights are coming in. On demand flights are being given slots. Uh, ooh, let's let's. Wow, we're out of cargo. <laughs> so that means that uh, I didn't quite have a look at that. What is this cargo management? That's what we're after over here. Let's uh, get the next one to come on in. Uh, we ran out really quickly. So let's do a quick um, instant purchase of 50. And that is very expensive, really. We can do another. Um, oh, but if we do an instant, that's, that's you can adjust delivery time. So we'll have to do that. Another instant of 50, which is going to be uh, way expensive. So we should really sort ourselves out a little bit. I think another facility is exactly what we're after over here. So let's go ahead and build yet another cargo storage facility over there. We'll go ahead and procure a couple of vehicles. We'll assign it to all the ramps and then hopefully we'll do a fair bit quicker um, and there should be a fair bit available in that. And it keeps going to a low. Now we should have a little bit more of a buffer anyway. So if we get these um, these arrivals to come on in, we should be all good to be able to, to keep dealing with that. The research is just taking ages to do. Money is not the problem, research is the problem, and so we should probably get additional clerks. Shows an increase in operation limit. So 
just a decrease in operation limit. I've no idea what that's supposed to mean. Oh, we're getting another delivery coming in now. Well, up to 100 yet again. Okay, fuel is awesome. So we're not running out of fuel at all. Can we, let's just uh, up this to, uh, so that we can do our research a little quicker. I'm hoping that's not gonna be too costly in terms of what it's gonna cost us. I've not done the math or anything. Are we, what's going on here? Why am I, do I have no flights? What's going on? Are there no on-demand flights at the moment? Oh, there we go. Interesting. You really had no on-demand flights available there for a minute. Okay. So I think that means that you will actually have to... Um, on-demand flights seems to only hold you over for a while. Oh, no, not, not just that. There we go. Come on. Okay, so we've got a few flights from our schedule running through. Let's wait to the end of the day and then I'll see what's going on with our schedulings and our and our contract tiers and things like that. We uh, I think we've got a pretty effective cargo operation here at the moment. Ah, you know what? Got to here. Maybe an extra one here. Let's do that. Let's buy one more vehicle here. So we can do a little bit more in terms of the refueling a little quicker as well. That would be useful. So we're pretty effective now, I think. About as effective as we could hope to be. Our research is taking a fair bit of time. What is going on? Pause the game. Airliner did not get the required services on time. Wow. That is probably a bit of a penalty. 154 in penalties for me on that one. That's interesting. I thought we would have been okay. So that's interesting that this um, seems to be happening. We do need to get this um, service checks going on. We should be all good, right? We've got so many vehicles available. I mean, there's so many flights that we're missing out on. At this stage, are we, we're almost done with the day. Well, not quite, it's only, only ends at seven. Airliner did not get the required services? Really? So what are you missing out on? Let's just pop into the plane and see, so. 10, the loading of 10 cargo. Why are you not being serviced appropriately? You've got three cargo vehicles over here. You've got another two cargo vehicles over there. Where are your cargo vehicles? Do, are they available? We've got vacant slots here, right? That is really interesting. It's getting its cargo now. It's only getting about, oh, it's got it. What are we? No, come on. Oh, it's late now. Now it's late. Now we've run into scheduling woes. And that's part of the problem here. It's getting loaded now. So we're running late now. Basically, that's what's happening. That is interesting. So can we, we need to have a look at some upgrades that we can do over here. If we were hoping to, uh, to continue on this path. We can continue to get some on-demand flights to come on in. And hopefully that means our, our, our fees are pretty good. I'm not sure when some of our more administrative fees will actually be subtracted, like at the end of the day or something. I think I seem to remember something like that in the previous um, build that I played. But let's have a look. So up at about 28,000, not bad. And we haven't served, started servicing... Um, uh, passengers at all. 
and that should be the end. We're not going to get another one in there. Let's have a quick look. Uh, you haven't taken any loans. I'm not planning on taking a loan just yet. We'll get these out of the way. We're going to have sufficient um, cargo available, I'm pretty sure. Excellent. There they go. Out of the way. Okay. Now, oh, nighttime, and we still haven't done the ramp services just yet. Let's have a quick pop in over here and have a look. Ramp service is almost done, and then we'll have to see advanced car air cargo facility, advanced driver training. What does that do? Special courses to train drivers. After these courses, you'll be able to entrust them with newer and larger trucks. Ah, that is good. That might be really good. So we'll sell some of our existing trucks. Get better, bigger cargo trucks um, to do that. Pump fueling. Wow, that's a lot of research points to get pump fueling sorted out. We're not going to head down that path just yet. Um, ramp service trucks. That's interesting. What does this do? Speed and traction. Okay, that's interesting. We'll have to uh, keep an eye on some of these passenger services. We'll uh, pop into that at some stage. We're still in the early years here. We just need to get our... Our basics done, the refined loading docks. Oh, that's probably what we're after. The government felt um, enough progress had been made to develop uh, in the development of plans to warrant something totally new. The transportation of goods by air conducting the experimental air cargo service might cause people to consider your eccentric, but others um, know that it's good business. Okay, that's an interesting one. That's probably the next one that we'll be researching then so that we can actually sort that out. Passenger service is a little later. Personnel, we can certainly do some stuff over here. That, um, I think these can, can improve our speed as well. So we need to have a look at that. Construction is late, maybe a little bit later. Flight scheduling and office furniture. What does this do? Comfortable tables and chairs. Perks can work much more efficiently. Ah, I think that is exactly what we need to do. Um, flight scheduling, flights on the request are a dead end. To reach a new level of efficiency, a fundamental different approach is required. Trains um, have been running on schedules for many years, so you should follow the example of what all the exists. It's time for airplanes to arrive and depart on time. You can schedule five total signed flights simultaneously. Okay, well, we'll have to have a look at some of these things and how it goes. For the time being, let's uh, new contracts were unlocked. Let's have a quick look to see at that, what is going on. Still nothing there, right? New airlines signed available flights. Is there anything here? So I don't quite know why it's saying new stuff has been unlocked because it's only this and we can't deal with this at the moment. <clears throat> okay, so uh, it is what it is for the time being. Nothing more for us to do right now. Now, let's have a quick look at our, our expenses here. So we didn't see any additional expenses. And at the moment, our expenses is about 17,000 and our airplanes handling is about 20, almost 21,000. So we are turning a bit of a profit, but we need to be mindful that we're not making tons of money and too much capital expenditure is going to cause us problems. And we had some penalties in there as well, that we definitely need to sort out. Let's uh, get into the next day. And I think then I'm going to call it the episode. Let's, uh, yeah, let's uh, see what's going on here. We should see some stuff being delivered at some point. I'm hoping it's uh, not too ineffective. Some planes, are, some trucks are going out to uh, go and get it all sorted out. We're almost done with the ramp service. Let's, uh, let's speed things up a little bit so we get our ramp service all sorted, um, just so that we can then start accommodating some of those other flights. Uh, we can certainly start seeing some of these. Dismiss that. The ramp service is ready to go. Let's pause and quickly pop in over here. I'm going to go and do the reinforced loading docks. Let's do the research for that. And want to get a ramp services set up and ready to go. That's not quite working out. I'll do ramp services over there. And one thing that I think, oh, well, let's, let's pop it in right next to it over there. Uh, we'll go ahead and procure one vehicle for the time being to do ramp service. It's going to be okay. And I'm thinking a little bit of capital expenditure to get a bit of a grass road to 
Can you please sort it out? You've got to be kidding me, right? That's not quite right, is it? Well, I was, I was hoping we can sort that out, but it seems not. So let's, um, let's get rid of that section, not the end of the world there. Um, and let's quickly link these up to everything. Now, the question is, would we try and run it out through there? Cannot um, construct it right there, but we could. See, this for some reason wants to work. So it must be the fact that, uh, you know what? Let's, let's just run that road up there. This is, it's because it's not exactly straight that we're actually seeing. Oh, there we go. That's okay. I think that's okay. That gives us pretty, pretty good um, piece to work on there. So now those um, ramp services should be made available. Uh, that's okay. I think base operations two, base operations, current operations three, base airline capacity 10, current airline capacity 20. And over here, we've got everything linked up and ready to go. So that should be all good. We can... Uh, Go ahead and accept some more flights. Hang on, here we go. Let's uh, let's have a look at this guy. We should be able to accommodate this one. Oh, we don't do. We're not doing any catering, so we can't accept that one. Unfortunately, unfortunately not. Okay, so uh, while I had the best of intentions of actually accepting one of those flights, we don't seem to be able to do that right yet. Um, let's quickly have one more look here at the this loading cargo no workers what is it saying so on this side it's pretty pretty busy but on that side it's got absolutely nothing to do so that's interesting are we going to start missing flights straight away it's still got a fair bit of a parking service later to go that one's already done this one should be able to get done really how come it doesn't have any workers? Bring in the cargo, please. It's going to be late. What's going on? Is it going to give me a message? Okay, I need to uh, schedule something over here. Okay, guys, and that is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Um, I think we're uh, going to keep it going a few more episodes, see how it goes still. Um, it is still pretty good, and I think this has got a fair bit more complexity than some of the other games that we've had, and I do want to see us actually progress from one era to the next, maybe expand our airport into some of these um, areas that you can purchase um wow that's expensive that's really pricey this one here oh this one here we can actually buy already at eighteen thousand. no that we don't need it just yet but uh maybe when we expand this runway or something of, of that nature so guys thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed it please hit that like button see you next time Bye bye